Hey everybody, how you doing? This is my first time using uh, Zoom on this way. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well. And okay, so you guys, these um these uh, scriptures I'm about to go over are really, really, really important, and I'm really eager and excited to share them with you guys. And I would just ask you guys that you really look inside of yourself and examine yourself. And, and, and if I say something, you guys, it's not to condemn you. It's so that because this is what I do. Like when I realize that I'm doing something wrong or that, um, you know, there's a teaching that I haven't applied to my life. I thank the other per I'm grateful that somebody would help correct me and keep me on the narrow path. But there's a difference between that and somebody just teaching error, or there's even a lot of people that teach against the scriptures of Jesus Christ. And that's bad, you guys. That's not good. So um, let's look at these scriptures, you guys, and let's let's say a prayer real quick. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, and, and, and please, brothers and sisters, if you could be in agreement, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, please open our hearts to your truth. And Lord, we, in the name of Jesus Christ and with the power and authority given to me and my brothers and sisters who are in agreement with me over all the strength of the enemy, we bind all principalities, powers and authorities, powers of the netherworld and the satanic forces of nature that are targeting, attacking, affecting, afflicting, or sent out to wage war or come against me and all of my brothers and sisters and all who will see this video. Lord, we pray you that you would come into our hearts in the deepest way and bring us to the deepest conversion of the person of our Lord Jesus Christ transform our heart lord in the name of jesus christ and by the power of the holy spirit to a heart the same heart that said father forgive them for they know not what they do as they were as our lord was getting his hands and feet nailed to the cr that cross this and may the power of the holy spirit in agreement with my brothers and sisters in the name of jesus christ transform our minds into the mind of christ and Lord, please bring whomever you will, whomever you desire, whomever it is within your will to watch this video, Lord, and open our hearts to your truth. And may these seeds that are planted in, in me and in all my brothers and sisters from your word, Lord, because faith comes by hearing the word. And, and may these seeds that get planted be covered with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And, be, and, and, um, and, we, and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ and in agreement with my brothers and sisters that the enemies of Christ and the forces of darkness nor Satan himself may be able to come in and lie, kill, steal, and destroy what is being planted here this day. We pray for all of our enemies, all who hate us and curse us and do wrong to us. And we pray for all of our family members, friends, relatives, all whom you have sent to us. That is not seeking you with all their heart, mind, and strength. That is choosing evil over you, Lord. That is choosing pharmakia over you. That is choosing idolatry over you, Lord. We pray in agreement with my brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We pray, please, Lord, do not let their souls be lost to the evil one. Do not let their souls to be lost in Sheol. Whatever has to happen, Lord, please foresee that, that all the people in our lives, that if they would be susceptible to taking the mark, Lord, for you know the beginning from the end, if you see that they would take the mark, then please, Lord, we just pray that your will be done, that they would, they would not be able to do that in whatever way you see fit, Lord. We pray this, even if they have to go to sleep, Lord, for a thousand years, just as it says in the book of Revelation. Lord, we ascribe all glory and honor, praise, power, might, authority, thanksgiving, blessing, and majesty to you, Lord God Almighty, forever and ever and ever. Blessed be the name of the Lord God of hosts, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, oh, I love prayer. Okay. So let's do share screen. Oh. Um. Okay. And okay, you guys, let us let this these words permeate our being, permeate every cell of our being and, and be written on our hearts. It says, truly, I tell you, Jesus replied, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children of the fields for my sake and for the gospel will risk for my sake and for the God and for the gospel will fail to receive a hundredfold in the present age. In the present age, you guys, he's talking about in the millennial reign. So you guys, like, okay, take for instance, how this applies to my life is that 
I had, um, have had to leave my children, watching my children whom I love dearly. Um, let me grab my coffee real quick. I have had to leave my children whom I love so dearly um, and to do this calling because I wouldn't be able to do this um, the way that I'm, that I have the ability to now being as dedicated as I am to seeking the Lord with all my heart, mind and strength. I wouldn't be able to do this if I was with them, but that does not mean I still don't provide for them. I provide for my children. I love them. I would lay my life down for them as I would my brothers and sisters and for anybody and do whatever the Lord's will is. Um, but you guys, we will receive a hundredfold in the, in the thousand year reign, brothers and sisters. And, and so, um, and, and it says, if you're not willing to, to do this, then you're not worthy of the kingdom. Now, you guys, that doesn't mean that you're going to go to hell. That just means, see, there's children of God get to come into the sanctuary. They get to be in the presence of the Lord. And that is a glorious uh, that is a glorious reality, you guys. And you guys, one second, one second, one day in the presence of the Lord is worth more than a thousand, thousand years here. That's how amazing it is. So remember that, you guys. Remember which, you know, all the things that happened to Job, you guys. So if you lose your children, if they take your children in the tribulation, if they die, if your family die, you will receive it back. That's a promise. Hallelujah. So don't worry. If you do worry or you, you're scared about those things, that means you don't fully know or trust the, the word. And so you guys, if you don't, if you're not fully trusting in these scriptures, I pray you, I, I plead with you guys to seek the Lord with all your heart, mind and strength. Pray you guys. I know when you pray and read the word that all these distractions in life will, will come to you and try to pull you away from the wickedness of uh, the wickedness in this world will try to pull you away from it, but fight it, resist it, you guys, but you have to battle. It's a battle, you guys. And we are in the month of October, which is in the past has been a wicked month, but the Lord, the Lord God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to turn this day, um, this, this known evil day around for his glory. And yes, you guys, bad things may happen and probably will happen, but also many good things will happen. And God is going to turn around what has been used for bad for good. Hallelujah. Battle the enemy, you guys, in these last months. Come to join me and Sister Lena on the battlefield. Okay, and then the next scripture that's very important is the parable of the barren fig tree. Now, you guys, this is very important to understand because if you do not bear fruit, you're going to be chopped down, hewn down, and thrown into the fire. The fire is not talking about Sheol. It's talking about purification in this context. But hold on just a second. Okay, so oh, I just had, there's an awesome customer that came in. She's such a sweet old lady, and wow, it's just awesome, you know, the Lord and his creation. You guys, it's really amazing because, you know, and, and a lot of people who are believers, even teachers online, YouTube channels, big pastors, they don't understand this. They say that, oh, we are not, um, we are not Jews you know, that we're Gentile because we're from America or, you know, we're Gentile believers, but they don't understand is that God's children, God's first fruit, I'm talking about those who are in the body of Christ, those who are part of the Lord's body, they are Jews because who they are inside has changed. And it doesn't matter if you're black, white, gray, purple, orange, green, uh, it doesn't matter. We are all part of the family because the spirit in us, and, and this is such like our Lord because the Lord loves variety. So you can be a different ethnicity to somebody, but you're still um, related to them in the spirit. Hallelujah. Because the spirit, the spirit is what makes you who you are and is what changes you. 
Okay, so sorry, I'm at work and so I'm going in between um, checking customers out in here. Okay, so this is the parable of the barren fig tree. So if you guys, you know, if you think about it, I'm saying maybe, you know, if this tribulation period began, you know, a lot of people, um, children of God started awakening and being made manifest and growing strong in the spirit in 2017 in the great solar American eclipse. And then there's another one that comes across almost seven years later, 2024, which we're almost up on the halfway point in uh, a month or two from now. But um, so it says, uh, he told this parable, a man had a fig tree in his vineyard and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. He said to the man who looked after the vineyard, look here, for three years now, I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taking up the ground? Sir, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig around it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. So you guys, if you don't bear fruit, if you call yourself a Christian and um, a child of God, or you consider yourself in the body of Christ and you are not producing fruit, um, good fruits, you guys, then you, uh, are, you surely um, will. So ask yourself this. These are things to inner reflect on you guys and pray to the Lord and seek him with all. Spend hours a day praying, you guys. If you spend hours a day on YouTube or watching somebody, put that aside. I know the enemy may try to, to try to attack you to not do that, but resist him, you guys. Resist him and he will flee. But it is a battle. You have to be willing to battle because our Lord is a, is a warrior. And so his children will have that mentality as well to be a warrior, right? Um, so if you're not bearing fruit, you will be thrown into the fire. Now, I'm, when I say fire, I don't mean the abyss, okay? I'm talking about the fire. Things get put in the fire for, pu for purification, right? When it talks about the lake of fire for Satan and the, the false prophet and all, that's different, okay? Fire is a time during the tribulation period where people will be purified. There's several different meanings to the word fire when you're talking about Bible scripture. In this, in this context, and what the Lord was saying here, he's talking about um, uh, actually um, not in this one in particular, but another one says that um, those who don't bear fruit, it will get pruned, it will get cut off and put in the fire. So it's going to get purified because God is going to have his people one way or another. But many people are so, they, uh, believers, they are so deceived and, and they're not in the truth. They're not in the true gospel. They are going to get purified um, in the great tribulation. And that's one of the points. That's one of the uh, main reasons for the tribulation. Okay. So last one. And this is really important to really inner reflect on, brothers and sisters. You guys, the Lord, when people came after the Lord and, and, and they said things against, he didn't resist them. You know, I see so many of my brothers and sisters and, um, oh, it's Brother Wick. Hey, brother, I'm actually doing a video right now, but I'll call you right back. All right, love you, brother. Later. Um, that was Brother Wick. But um, you guys, I see so many people, and what it is is a spirit of pride, and and it's the part of the human condition is that when somebody attacks and does something wrong against them, especially when they didn't deserve it, um, they they get defensive and they feel like they need to attack that person. But the Lord teaches us um, a different way, um, and we're going to go over that right now. Okay, so let's look at this scripture, you guys. This is a really beautiful scripture, and I pray that people really apply this to, uh, to their lives. It says, and this is 1 Peter chapter 2, and I encourage, I encourage you, please read the whole chapter. 
You see, there is some merit in putting up with pains of unearned punishment if it is done for the sake of God. So you guys, we are called to be a living sacrifice. So when we go through attacks, trials and tribulate, like maybe somebody in your family and maybe a spirit is using them um, to do things to afflict you with certain types of things. But see, the Lord allows that to happen. So a lot of the times so that you can perfect the love inside of your heart, because if you can love that person, even though they're doing those things to you, then that is a sacrifice unto the Lord. See, our forefathers, they used to grab an animal and they would take an animal and sacrifice and, and do other things. But we are called to be the sacrifice now. Just as Jesus Christ was, we are to pick up our cross and follow him. Well, applying this message and this teaching to your life is following the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is when love, this is what will really elevate your walk with the Lord is applying this to your life. But most people, you guys, honestly, even most people who are other believers, they don't do that. So I would highly encourage you, if you do this and apply this, to your life, it will go well with you. It says, see, there is some merit in putting up with pains of unearned punishment if it is done for the sake of God, but there is nothing meritorious in taking a beating patiently if you have done something wrong to deserve it. So he's saying, basically, you reap what you sow, you know, and so if you knew better and you decided to do bad, don't be surprised if, if um, you sow some or you reap something in uh, for the for the wrong that you did. You guys remember that, that uh, I think people have a really um, bad uh, uh, misunderstanding. Um, if, if those who, if you sin willingly or knowing um, that it's not good and that you weren't called to do it, there, re you can't use, there remains no sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins, right? In Hebrews. And we'll go over that. Um, we'll go over that in more detail. Um, but hold on just a second. Okay, so finish this up. And again, you guys, I really, I really hope if, if people would apply this, man, they would just, they would grow so much. And, you know, one way or another, you guys, our people, children of God, whether if they're in error or not doing the right thing or not applying the whole teaching that the Lord Jesus Christ said, applying the whole word to their lives, the Lord is going to have his people. It's just that most people who are believers have to go through the, the furnace, the, the, uh, the purification process. But see, you guys, these teachings and my calling and this word, talking about this word and the conviction of these of these words is um is here to help people so that they don't have to um go through that right because if you reject if you know something is right and you're being convicted by the spirit but you don't apply it then after so many of those times add up and judgment happens then you can be judged and and that judgment can be bestowed upon you so because you rejected it right uh people get warned before they get um punished right and so i just pray people really apply this and it says the merit is okay but there is nothing meritous in taking a beating patiently if you've done something to deserve it the merit in the sight of god is in bearing is in bearing it patiently when you are punished after doing your duty this, in fact, is what you were called to do because Christ suffered for you and left an example for you to follow the way he took. He had not done anything wrong and there had, there had been no perjury in his mouth. He was insulted and did not retaliate with insults. When he was tortured, he made no threats, but he put his trust in the righteous judge. So that means, you guys, when people are attacking you, and, and maybe they're even, maybe it's your spouse, right? The Lord has some people unequal, called unequally yoked um, so that that other person can get saved through the other obedience and the holiness of the other spouse. 
And so these two spouses are conflict. One lives holy and one doesn't. And so there's a, it, it creates, it can create a lot of turmoil and conflict, but that is such like our father, you guys, what he's doing is he's having you go through the same thing he went on the cross in a different way, of course, so that you can save other people. So that is a, te- that's part of having the testimony of Jesus Christ, you guys. Even though you didn't deserve something, even though you don't deserve all of these, all of these terrible things that happens to you, you still conquered it with love. That is the power of the spirit of Christ. And that is my brothers and sisters and people who are watching this video. That is what Satan was banking on that you would not be able to accomplish. But in the name of Jesus Christ, and by the merits and power of his cross and blood, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the children of God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, that me and all of my brothers and sisters overcome all temptations, trials, tribulations, fiery attacks, fiery trials, because greater is he that is in us than we that are in the world. I was, wow, that scared me. I was doing this, uh, this video and chips from my store just fell on the ground. Like that is a spirit. It, and you could tell the way that it went down was um, like an interruption. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, we really need to apply this stuff, you guys. All right. And take your beatings, take your trials and tribulations, you guys, and love that person. If you can love these people, you guys, there's people that have been the root, that, that have been the cause of taking people away from me in my life that I loved. Taking people away, they're dead now and I still love them. Can you do that? What if they took your children away from you? What if your children died today? Would you be able to love that person? I've seen it, you guys. I've seen it happen in a courtroom, and it changes people, and this is why the one of the reasons that God told us to do that. This is how we spread the kingdom of Christ, and if you haven't figured that out, if you haven't learned that, if you haven't applied that to your life, I encourage you to do it. Imply, apply these things. It's not too late. I love you guys so much. God bless you all. And in the name of Jesus Christ, may the peace and grace, and may the peace of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Yahoshua HaMashiach, be with you all. Amen and hallelujah.